Previously, on Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors. What the hell? Are you typing with your titties? You're damn right I am! Oh my god, it's amazing. Oh, look at him go. Such precision. Such grace. Such jiggliness. Mm. And now, back to the escape. Hey, yo! Sneako B, back with some more Nine Hours, Nine Persons, and Nine Doors. When we last left off, we watched Lotus uh, type away with her boobies. And also, we... We, uh, blew up Science Boy. Much to Junpei's dismay. No! Science Boy, no! Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, I love Junpei. Uh, you know, you know, except for that one part where he was like, did the douchiest move ever. But that, then again, I, I kind of did that to him, so I was kind of responsible. That, that one, that was, God, that was funny. Alright, anyway, we finally escaped the room in the laboratory, and now we're I don't know. I'm gonna go continue with the story. It'll probably point where it's it's gonna start being the same again. So, in which case, I'll skip ahead. Uh, Junbei, Clover, and Lois slipped out of the laboratory, slamming the door behind them. Fuck this shit! All three collapsed against the wall, breathing heavily. Junbei's heart was pounding his chest, and his whole body felt weak. He inhaled gulps of clear air with each one, and he could feel his body begin to calm down. Oh, oh, sweet air. Mmm. Oh, oh, air. Oh, I need some drugs. All right, let's go. They out of each other and started off down the hallway. Before long, they found a few new doors, but all of them were locked. Soon they had tried. They tried all the doors but one. The final door sat in a corner of the hallway. Jimmy grabbed the door handle and was about to pull when a voice cried out behind him. It was neither Clover, Clover nor Lotus, but he recognized it. There was no doubt the voice belonged to. Dun dun. <laughs> Bitch, where the hell you been? I've been looking all over for you. Get your little fucking bitch ass over here. Ah, oh, damn it up. <laughs> they true. Uh, June? I'm sorry, that was... That just kind of pops out every now and then. <laughs> that was that was you? Yeah, anyway, jumpy. <laughs> he spun around. Yes, the most wonderful moment is you. Yes, it's you. They were at the other end of the hallway. Jumpy saw a human figure running towards him. Da, na, 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 na. Three of them. Ah! She's like, ah! <laughs> okay, this is kind of the same as before, though, right? Stop front, gasping for air. Hey! What are you guys doing here? What? What? Uh, ooh, uh, ooh. <laughs> before he could finish whatever the hell Junpei was saying, Clover spoke. Um, guys, could you come over here? She was standing near the end of a small hallway that branched off to the right. The rest of them ran over to her, curious as to what she'd found. There's something on the wall at the end of the hallway. <gasps> Another map! Yes! <laughs> I could never have enough of these maps. Let's go ahead and add that to my flipbook of maps. <laughs> I drew a picture of a kitty in the corner of each one. Now when you flip it, look, the kitty's chasing the yarn. Isn't that great? Man, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> you stupid as fuck. The map of the ship's interior. Must said C deck, uh, upper left corner. Most likely they assume it was the map for the floor they were on. Door 7 and door 8. Oh my god, it's like, it all connected. Okay, th this is all stuff we've seen, so. I'm just gonna keep going until shit starts getting new. It's like 7 says, my acorn beanie. The wise acorn beanie. You listen. Obey the beanie. Obey it. Okay, alright, so. I went through door 6 last time I got to this point, and then, uh, automatically went through door 2 the last time. So I'm, I'm guessing door 2 probably the same to do it again, so if I, I mean, if I chose it again. In which case, everybody dies in the end, so, uh, let's go through door number one. That's the last one. Alright, my choice is door number one. Sam was unconvinced. Hey, wait a minute there. You cheating? Oh, cheating? I'm asking if you changed your number after you heard what the doors we wanted. How could I do that? I wrote down the paper earlier. We see that. <laughs> Jumpei shrugged a hand to... Of course I wrote this down. I didn't decide this until... <laughs> I decided this hours ago. Sam so examined it furiously. I was prepared as well. As they did, Jupe quickly slipped the piece of paper he'd been hiding into his pocket. Although he'd never know it, Santa had been justified in suspe... Oh, okay. <laughs> huh, took that, suckers. Jupe had switched papers. Oh, snap. He prepared three pieces of paper for doors one, two, and six, put the pa and put the paper with door six on on it into the pot. Oh, okay. Interesting. 
I wonder if they would have, would have done that for Dear Dora 2, because I remember when I, I picked Dora 6, he was like, he was like, oh, of course, that was what I wrote down. Uh, I'm kind of surprised that I would just be like, of course, they wrote down door number one. Huh. Was it six or one? I don't know. It was something. So he would know which one was his. You know, he put a small mark on it so you know which one was his. He put the paper that said door one in his left hand and the paper that read door two in his right. Damn, dude. Damn, dude, you're freaking crafty, aren't you? When the drawing began, he saw, he saw to it that he drew last. The rest was easy. He wanted to go, if he wanted to go into door one, he'd use his left hand, if, if, and his right hand if he wanted to door two. Of course, if he wanted door six, that would be simple. All he needed to do was switch nothing and say six had been what he wanted all along. Ah, you crafty little bastard. <laughs> well, what does it say? It's totally... <laughs> he fought the urge to smirk. <laughs> God damn, Jim. Jim, hey. Huh, I'm such a crafty little shit, aren't I? Huh. <laughs> Huh, you got lucky. See a snort and toss the paper is that frustrated. Fuck this shit. Very well. We've decided who, who will go through door one. I'll be clever, Jim Pay, and myself. Of course, myself, because I am number one. For I am God. <laughs> Does anyone dare defy me? <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> I got I got silver hair too, alright? You're not <laughs> not that badass. Underneath this beanie, I got silver hair. Uh Okay, yes, okay, good. My only problem is that the remaining two teams... Jude and I want door six. Lewis and I want door two. We're gonna go make babies back there. That's not good. We can't open either of these doors with two people. Ah, oh, shit, you're right. That dirty br that dirty, that dirty hoe over there is right. Fine! Seven, we'll go through door six! Hope you're fucking happy! Yeah, sure thing. So what was in door six again? That was the one with the, um, uh, the, the, with the wheels, that's right. And with the slightly less, the slightly, uh, better at bad ending. <laughs> at least not everybody died, at least not yet. Uh, but you can see Lotus died though, that was, and that, and to me that was a good ending in my opinion. I didn't really want to go through door two anyway. I never liked number two. It's too much like, I don't know, it's too close to number three. And I never liked three. What the hell are you talking, what the hell are you talking about? Besides, we got a young girl with us, it'll lower the average age. <laughs> Isn't that right, June? And <laughs> she's like, well, I, um. June was at a loss for words. Hell yeah. Lotus was not. <laughs> that pig. You just wait and see what the hell. <laughs> her little just—you just watch your little portrait scroll by the screen. Nah, 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 nah. Her, eye, her eyes were the eyes of a woman prepared to kill. You'll see, doom. These, the, my nipples have razor blades. You're going down. A shiver ran down Junpei's spine, all the way down to his penis. Even after they separated the staircase, Lotus was still muttering angrily to herself. We're never, are we ever going to find out why the hell she's dressed like that? Seriously. It's like, I'm, super, I'm shocked that nobody's asked her, like, Hey, why are you dressed like a dirty, like a dirty bimbo? Huh? Well, this is, I work Fridays over at the strip club, you know. And I was just in the middle of, I was I'm in the red light district just getting ready to work over somebody. And right when I got transported here. So ever says, oh, that'd be, oh man, that would have been hilarious, actually. What if it was like. Like, zero. <laughs> she's like, she gets some car pulls over next to her. She, she's like, looking for a good time, sweet cheeks. <laughs> zero in the car. <laughs> oh, she, throw, she throws a gas grenade at her. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm looking for a good time. Here. <laughs> I pay gas grenades. Ah! <laughs> Circumstances. <laughs> that would be the best. Circumstances dictate that June Payton and the June would have to part ways again. But this time, it didn't sting quite so much. After all, I knew it would see her again. In hell. Until we find door nine, nine door zero, zero or until we find that nine door zero and get a split up. We get, might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Don't worry, my acorn beanie never lies. Otherwise, we can't open door nine. That's how the normal game works, bitches. All right, let's go kick some ass. Should pay Ace and Clover head, head toward door toward a deck. Ace and Clover. Okay, that's not too bad of a group. 
Clever can be kind of annoying, but yeah, whatever. I took out the earth key and opened the door to the left. It opened and they walked through. Yeah! Junpei kicked it open with his manly foot. Just as Santa and Lotus had said. At the end of the hallway said door with a large red one on it. Number door. Dun dun dun. To the left of the bolts of the wall was the red. He went first and waves his hand wrist over his wrist over the scanner panel. Ace always comes first. Junpei was next. And finally, Lily Clover lifted her arm. She so leaned toward the scanner panel. The third asterisk clicked the lash shining brightly. Ace took hold of the lever. He took a deep breath and turned to Junpei and Clover. Uh, are you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Okay, let's go. All right, we're totally going to do this. All right, let's do this. Right, here we go. I'm getting ready to pull the lever. All right, let's do it. Pull the lever. Pull the lever. Pull the lever. Pull the lever. All right. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop giving me orders. It's just stressing me out. <laughs> Took a deep breath. Let's do this. Shall I put it? Just fucking do it. Like, I don't care. I don't give a shit. She nodded a little more than a lethargic twitch of the head. Very well, then. Let's go. By the power of grace, go. Three, two, be Ace let out a giant battle cry that scared both Junpei and Clover. Yeah. Whoa, I didn't know your voice could uh, do that, Ace. <laughs> yes, I can be I can be intense when I want to be. The door opened. They stumbled into the room. Oh god, pink skull head. Ooh, it's actually kind of a nice area. It's just like the captain's room or something. Frankly, Junpei scanned the room. Oh, there it is. His eyes stopped in the vice that would determine whether they lived or died. There it is! Over there! Yeah! Next to the door they come through was the dead. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> wow, Zero's made sure made it easy, at least, for us. I mean, as long as you, you don't fuck up the number, numbers when you go through, it's not been too difficult. It's not like he, like... I don't know, he, like... He put it in some secret compartment hidden in the ceiling or something. That bastard. That would <laughs> that'd be the really douchey way to do it. Next to the door, they come through with the dead. As the one they ran, t as one they, as one they ran to it. We are one. Better hands on it. And... <laughs> I am all over the place with this fucking dialogue today. Ugh. 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 It stopped. Yes, it did. <laughs> Why? We always feel the need to say it's. It stopped. My, my god, you're totally right. Oh my god, I don't believe it! Jimmy could feel his heart pounding against the inside of his ribs. Ace and Clover were breathing hard and fast. It was the third time they'd been through the process, but they had yet to grow accustomed to it. Not that Junpei wanted to. He planned to finish this game before he got a chance to let an imminent death become commonplace. Junpei looked around again, this time more slowly. <sighs> nice room. There's another door, different from the one they'd entered, though. He took hold of the knob, he's easily... Gently pulled it open. Hey, it is! So, this is the wheelhouse? He closed the door again and turned to Ace and Clover. Dude, sweet, can I, can I steer the boat? He fixed... He fixed each churn and... He, wait, he fixed each in churn with a meaningful stare, then spoke. Mm. <laughs> a meaningful stare. He looks at Ace. Mm. Looks over at Clover. Mm. Back at Ace. Mm. Back at Clover. Mm. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing, J J Jumpy? <laughs> Yes, I do. I do wonder what you are doing. Stop staring at me like that. Looks like you're gonna molest me. Mmm. <laughs> Ace invest. Ace investigate. You investigate the wheelhouse next door. Uh, wait, no. Fuck that. You no. You go investigate the wheelhouse. I'm the boss around here. Shut up. You go do. Do it. You're my bitch now. Fine. Damn it. <laughs> Chloe, you're in charge of this room. Whatever. Say something, you dirty pink-haired slut. Okay, I will. <laughs> uh, all right then. Let's get started. Ugh. Oh my god, look, there's a lamp and a wheel. Oh, and another wheel. Oh my god. Oh, I can steer the ship. I'm the captain. Oh, captain, my captain. Sneak a way out. Man, I love that movie. So many Bible life lessons. Robin Williams at his best. Seven, what are you doing here? I don't know. I just I, I felt like I need to show up for that one for that one moment. All right, I'm gone now. Woo! <laughs> it just fades away. A light looks kind of like a wilted flower. Oh, thank God! At least Ace didn't come over. Was like <laughs> everyone. Everyone comes up, treats it like 
It's a microphone. Oh, it's a freaking, uh, it's a sh machine gun, obviously. Yes! Another map. Staff of not, uh, stack of nautical charts. Ooh, compass. A oh, pocket watch. That's a pocket watch. She sure hasn't been saying much. And she just keeps looking at the floor. She seems kind of sad. Hmm, I wonder why. It's not like her brother just died. In a horribly disturbing way. Unfortunately, he, he, he hadn't expected Star Junpei from his examination of the pocket watch. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah. <laughs> why, why hadn't he expected... <laughs> You didn't expect Ace to say anything. <laughs> scared the sh you sh damn it, Ace! You scared the shit out of me. Oh, a pocket watch. All right, take a look at it. It's been, it's been around to find Ace standing directly behind him, breathing down his throat. Jubei shrugged, shrugged, and handed him the pocket watch. Hey, man, what are you, what are you doing over in this room? Oh, I just thought I'd come, I come up and check on the two of you. Is there a problem? Uh. <laughs> Well, not a problem, but... Yeah, there is a problem! Fuck, I'll just do it. Yeah, there is! I'm gonna fight you! <laughs> his, eyes, his eyebrows... <laughs> look at his... Look at his face, he's like, uh... Really? You checked on us, now get... Now get out of here! We split... We split this... We split, we split this stuff up for a reason, alright? Should we caught himself. Why... Why has he said that? There'd been no reason to speak to Ace that way. Wow, you're kind of a dick, aren't you? Fuck you, alright? I don't care about anyone but myself. And you. But that's because we're gonna make babies later. Jimmy felt off somehow. He summoned his mouth and took another look at Junpei and shot it again. A small smirk appeared on his face. Oh, oh I see. Of course. He looked over Junpei, looked Junpei over, then glanced at Clover. I apologize for the intrusion. Well, best of luck. Jackass. <laughs> Ace gave Junpei a knowing pat on the shoulder, and then punched him right in the crotch. <laughs> oh! For no reason he could fathom, Junpei's head began to hurt. Sharp piercing pain. Whoa, sharp pain in his head. What the hell? How much time had passed, he wasn't sure. But he did notice that when Ace strode through the door. His smile was more of a smirk. He had... The ever man who knew more than his than his opponent. Oh yeah, so there's something I wanted to check if you don't mind. Yeah, what's that? Pardon me. With no warning, Ace slipped his hand into the pocket of Junpei's vest. Hey, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking this, my penis. Oh wait, sorry, wrong thing. He reached for Ace's arm, but it was already too late. In the older man's hand were the pieces of the paper June had balled up and hidden in his pocket. Just as I thought. You switched them, you switched them didn't you? When we voted. Oh. <laughs> oh, busted. Oh, well, I can't say that I care. I managed to get through the number door I wanted, despite your mischief. When? Why did you... Oh, simple curio simply curiosity. Hope you won't think ill of me for it. A smile gave Junpei a friendly pat on the crotch, and then turned to seal and left. Wait, so <laughs> I'm getting this deja vu feeling. Did we just do that? Then he came back, and he was like, "Now I'm gonna take this. My penis get no. I meant this other thing." It was a small defeat, but it was a defeat. Junpei had lost the upper hand, and he knew it. He fucking knew it. He could feel his stomach begin to begin to tense. And Clover just stands this sad, doesn't give a shit. That was kind of random. What, what the hell is going on? Why? I, I, I don't know what that was. You guys have a problem with... Uh, I don't have a... <laughs> why did I have a problem with that? I, I just kind of put that because the other one... I don't know. It, it seemed like there was a reason for it, probably. Shelves are lined with books. See what's in this blue one. There's something written on it. Ships... Captain's log. Start eight. I don't know. <laughs> We're all going to fucking die because we swallowed bombs. The end. Oh, huh, ship's log, huh? Woohoo! Ship log. It's a wooden box. Make a case for letters. Hey, Clover, you write letters? Clover's like, nothing. Whatever! The only thing I ever do is think about killing people! 
Captain's lo okay. Can I go? Can I look at? Just look around the shore. We we, uh, we soon we soon leave for a new journey across the sea. After leaving port, we headed south and west. We turned southwest to steer around the continent, and then proceed northwest. We made port, then changed our heading to east for a time. Now we're heading due north. Soon we will dock in the United Kingdom, the homeland of this vessel. Hot dog. Compass. It appears to be broken, however. See, the glass couldn't... The cover has been smashed to pieces. The hill. Well, steering... Well, steering wheel might be more more appropriate term. Whatever, douchebag. Why are you being such a dick to me today, June Day? I don't know, man. Maybe because I got a bomb in my colon. You know, shit like that. Hey, what is this? Some kind of display? Looks like an electronic scoreboard. Oh, I thought it was, a, I thought it was an air vent. I imagine it was added recently. Rabble board, like an airport. There's nothing on it right now, though. Let's go in the room with a picture of a bomb on it. Looks like some sort of lock. It's got a weird shaped indentation on it. Huh? The shape, maybe. Junpei stuck his penis in the hole and then realized, oh, wait, nope. I think maybe. No, yes. Pocket watch. Nothing. I, I imagine the pocket watch is intended to go in there. Oh, we may need to do something with the watch first. The compass. And, wh <laughs> and what destiny does it point us to? <laughs> he says with putting his, ha his hand in the air. God, does everything you have to say have to be so amazing? Yes, it does. I really hope you don't think that sounded cool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Ace, you made Ace sad. Nah, Ace sad. With that one. Ah, human hammer. I often used to subdue large men like Seven. What? <laughs> that was a joke, of course. Aha! Behold my brilliance. Ace, you really kind of suck at making jokes. Uh. <laughs> Ace's brilliance is no longer brilliant. Ace is sad. That was rather cruel. <laughs> that, that was rather cruel. Aw, I'm sorry, Ace. Do you want a hug, man? No. Yes. Okay, come here, big guy. Come here. There you go. You feel better now? Yeah, a little bit. I'm a ding-dong. I... I gotta use the use the item of this when I'm with this, right? World map with land ocean in the center. There are numbers of red pins in several locations. What do these red pins mean? Well, in article charts I picked up earlier, I have a map like this on one. Maybe one of them matched up to the pins or something. Let's see. What do you know? Looks like what match this one matches to the pins. Okay, so we got seven locations connected by straight lines. And each one has a word next to it. That's probably the speed. Oh my god, this, this might get complicated. <laughs> I'll turn the room. Shows the direction southwest. Southwest. Blah, blah, blah. Full half slow. Full half dead. Okay. Steering wheel. Let's see if. Whoa! Looks like steering wheel moves. So it would seem. I know something else as well. What's that? Well, when you move this wheel, the compass also moves. Well, what do you mean? The ship, it's moving. Ha! Ah! Tricked you, didn't I? <laughs> The and the compass must be connected to one another somehow. Hmm, do you think that's important? Aw, uh, look at Ace trying to be funny. Aw, uh, it's okay, Ace. We all have things we're good at and not good at. You're good at being sexy and amazing. But you kind of suck at being funny. Aw. Uh, let's, let's start turning again. Okay, uh... Whee! Okay, I gotta go by the the file here, right? Yes! What the? The handle came off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stooping so low, aren't you, Zero? Oh no! I broke it. Oh well. Alright, well, let's get a handle for this thing now. So, I'm sure this handle fits. Yeah! Yes! Excellent! Behold! Behold! Alright, dude, you need to stop doing that. 
Slow sound for the engine in order to telegraph. Let's give it a shot. Alright, now I got fuck. I know, yeah, it's because I haven't done anything. I know what to do, I just, shut up. I know, I gotta read the file and I gotta write it out. Dead. Stop. Woo! Huh? That's weird. I thought, I, I thought I put in the right speed. Did I mess up? No, I don't think so. Look, something's happened on the back of the wall of the wheelhouse. Yeah, you're right. Let's check it out. Oh, this thingy. Okay. Digital scoreboard or something like that. On the left side, it's got it's got the names of the ports the ship will stop at along its routes. Last side says 10, 10 seconds past 3 o'clock. That must be the estimated time of arrival at the final port. Hmm. Oh, perhaps. Well, what's he doing? Excuse me, Junpei. Hey, you just took my pocket watch. Hey! Hey! It's mine! It's, it's mine I stole! What the hell are you doing? Just trust me. Ah! Ah, uh, I see. It should be fine now. Unless you're giving me the pocket watch, baby. You didn't need to look so smug. God, I'm awesome. What can I say? So we need, oh, we moved the move the hands to the to the time of that. Ten seconds past three o'clock. Oh, so you changed the message to final arrival time. You know what to do next, right? Give it a shot. Yes. Time to stick it in the door. Door powers activate. Yeah. 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 Put it in. Come on. Huh? Ah. Hot dog. I'm a genius, bitch. Good work. Behold. Behold. That's, I'm sorry. I just... This one comes to mind. Every, every time he does it, it looks so funny. It seems he was successful. Well done, Junpei. Hey! Clover! What? Look, we unlocked the door. Hell yeah. High five. Then we can get out of this room. Oh. Well, let's go then. God, just a buzzkill, Clover. God dang it, whatever. Fuck you, Clover. You found it! Yeah! I totally found it. I'm freaking bees and knees, bitches. Space has found themselves in the outside of the wheelhouse. It's far too narrow to be called a hallway. On the left was a wooden door. Jimmy pushed it open and stepped into the room beyond. Ooh, another. Another nice room. It's full of a manner of, full of all manner of turn of the century electronic equipment. Most of them were things they'd never seen before. They had no idea what they might have been for, let alone how to operate them. So, oh, that's a telegraph, right? One small machine had a middle bar that ended in a circular handle. A seemed to recognize it. Oh yeah, it's a telegraph key. It was used to transmit Morse code a long time ago. He turned slowly and took in the room. This must be the communication office. Across the room from the door they'd entered the through was another door. An old plaque was nailed to it. It read, Captain's Quarters. Captain's Quarters. Ah, that is, that'd be my room right there. Because I'm the captain. Screw you, no, I'm the captain. No, I'm the captain. Screw both of you. I'm older than everybody and more badass. I'm the captain. Ben, screw you, Ace. Yeah, screw you, Ace. Screw both of you. Captain's Quarters. That's what it says. Then, do you think? I am Zero. The, I, am the, I am the captain of this ship. <laughs> you think Zero is actually back there? Just chilling out and smoking a cig? <laughs> this is why my voice sounds so deep. Uh, I can stop any day now, but I choose not to. <laughs> the nicotine's good for my... <laughs> it's good for my... Shut up. <laughs> hey, Swallow. Jim Pick feels feel his hands begin to sweat. Only Clover seemed unaffected. Well, we won't know if we don't open it. She walked over to the door and put her hand on the knob. Oh shit, someone's coming in here. It opened easily without as much as a paw she walked in. She bay and Ace followed. First thing they saw... Oh god, it's a dead person! There's a man on the floor covered in blood. Oh god, it's zero. Uh, ah! Ah! She bay felt his body, body seize up. His mouth went dry and he felt very, very cold. Blood in his veins slowed to a crawl, and his heart tightened like a fist. 
This is the third time he'd seen the horror of death laid out before him. He didn't think it was something he could stand to see much more of. Still, so began to accept that whatever it was, whatever it was that he saw, whatever it hap happened to him, was beyond his control, and whatever force controlled him was driven by the determination that he could not hope to match. A sense of helplessness of desperation washed over him. It left behind a feeling of utter emptiness that wormed its way through his body like acid. Then he realized they had yet to check the man's pulse. Perhaps he was still alive! Of course, I'm sure he... <laughs> I don't know about that, you know, I mean, there are maggots all over him, I mean... <laughs> they're eating him alive. I think his, his leg is over there on the other side of the room. Shut up, he can still be alive! We by a spark of hope, Junpei ran into the man's body, and his heart fell. Ah! Oh, God! Oh, my! I was just... <laughs> I was just some dirty hobo, and then he dressed me up like a captain and killed me. Ah, uh, <laughs> the guy was fucked up. His fingers on the, the, his fingers on the neck felt no pulse. His pupils had dilated, and he wasn't breathing. Chibi lifted the, the the man's already stiff body. There was a deep red wound on his chest. Chibi did not have to wonder how long uh, what, what could have ha made such a wound. Oh, for lying next to the corpse was an axe. The entire blade of it was drenched in bright red blood. Good lord! Somebody has been going on a fucking murder rampage. Dude, it's probably number nine, right? I mean, who the hell, who the hell else could it be, alright? He faked his death. That's what it is. <laughs> Moshiriki strikes again! Yeah. In the shape of a man's wound, there could be no doubt it made by the axe. You better look at the body again. Lake of blood stretched out around it. It was wearing the cl the it was wearing the clothes of the ca ship's captain, although they were stained with blood. A captain. Did that mean this man was Zero? Well, on his left hand was a bracelet. What? Oh, no, the bracelet was Zero. No way. I don't. I don't fucking buy that for a second. There's no way Zero is just dead. It's only then that Junpei noticed the stench of blood that filled the room. <laughs> He couldn't help but laugh. There was nothing else for him to say. It was too simple, too obvious, too straightforward. If there hadn't been a dead man on the floor, Junpei might have thought it was a joke. Uh, whoa, over here. There's a dead guy on the floor. And also a camera. Oh, yeah! We did it! We killed Zero! Actually, we didn't do anything. We just like, shut up, we did it. We did it, this is a victory. I'm sure we don't have anything to worry about anymore. There's a camera over here. Camp corner. Looks like it's pointed at the door. Well, the power's on. Why would someone want to videotape a door? <laughs> Apparently, our captain was a voyeur. There's blood on the chair. This was the dead guy's? Yeah, probably. It was his favorite chair until he died. There's something metallic on the top of the table. Hey, is that a music box? Let's have a look. That's that's a music box? Whoa. Anything in the drawer? Oh, here we go. What's to do with this? Some kind of code? There are four rows of numbers and letters. They all start with zero and end with eight. F, N, or V, respectively. Maybe this has something to do with the number bases. New material's been added to the screen, okay. There's a bunch of weird buttons on here. Probably sw switch what you see on the screens. How to work this thing? Uh, why don't we just press one of these? Like this one. There's a shiny button. Oh! Well, I guess it does, well, I guess it does change the- Oh! Zero! What the hell is this? Wow, Zero really loves himself, doesn't he? <laughs> yes, that is my name. I am Zero. I just like to remind myself that just in case I forget. <laughs> Jinpei snore with grim humor for the second time he'd come into the room. The four screens sh along the bottom had a single letter, each spelling out zero. Jinpei felt as though he was being mocked. The real villain was somewhere laughing at him. What do you think? He turned to Clover, who was standing next to him. Her voice was almost too low to hear. Nothing. Seeing that she cared, she cared about that she cared about very little. Of course, Jubei could hardly blame her. Given the strain she was surely under, Junpei was somewhat surprised she had responded at all. Still, he had to ask. He gestured toward the corpse. 
What about it? You think that's really zero? She pays sh there's clever sugar head weekly. There's no way that's him. Did I tell you already? Zero's one of us. Yeah, right. I know it's important to figure out who this guy is, but don't you think we should figure out who how to get out of here first? But please! I don't want to waste any more time. Clover looked miserable as though as if she could start crying at any moment. Chippe just didn't have the heart to tell her now. Alright, you think. Does his mind playing tricks on him, Jinpei wondered. For a moment he could have sworn he'd seen Clover smile. Uh-oh. Oh man, you're gonna go crazy on me, are you? I might go crazy, man. Okay. Hello, something? Oh, I knew it! <laughs> I always find fucking screwdrivers, don't I? Alright, come on. Alright, the screwdriver ought to make the short words music box. I got a cylinder. Hot dog. Oh, hello. Ink. Combine! Um, I guess I'll put the ink on the cylinder. D dirty cylinder! Oh my god, it freaking. Yes, I'm brilliant. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh yeah, so you put ink on the cylinder. Yeah. I roll across a piece of paper and the pins and the fan will leave marks on it, right? This will make dots and the fans will leave lines. Alright, alright, then show us. To, to do this next part, because I don't know Morse code. Hey, so look, it's a monkey with glasses. <laughs> it, is a, it is a monkey with glasses. See, that's it. Now that's, now that's quality humor right there. Ace, you should learn a lot from me. How on earth did you arrive at that conclusion? Come on, look at it. It also kind of looks like also kind of looks like someone who's been watching too much TV with like teeth poking out. To be honest, I have no goddamn idea what this thing really is. Probably some kind of radio transmitter that do the telegraph thing or something. Hey, what is this? It's like there's something or not. Ah, oh, here we go. All right, combine. I oh, just gotta roll the cylinder across a piece of paper. That's right, things should. Woo! Morse code. This is you suspected, right? Now you have a pattern of dots and lines on the paper. I imagine it's Morse code. These dot, the dots and lines, the these dots and li lines, the dots, the dashes of d Morse code. God, I, I don't know how to do Morse code. Get look a hook. That wasn't a joke. <laughs> I know, man. I know. It's all right. <laughs> My captain hook. All right, I've got the Morse code. I'm supposed to enter. If I do this right, something will happen. I hope. Alright, let's get shut. Oh, fuck me! I don't know how to do this! Wait. Two. Three. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> it's not that complicated. Okay, I thought it was. I thought there was a lot more to Morse code than this. Okay. One. Eh. 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 Beep. 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 Hey, look, guys, I'm doing Morse code. I'm so good at this. Beep. 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 I did it! That's the last one. Yes! Behold! Ha 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 ha! Morse code! I have created Morse code! By the power of Grayskull, you've done it, Junpei! You've freaking done it! Ah! Oh, calm down, Ace. That's... Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, I just got rather excited. You unlock the drawer. Hooray. Hooray for Junpei. Hooray for me. Red file lay in the drawer. Junpei reached down and picked it up. The cover read... Alice. Alice. Oh, all ice. But was it supposed to say all ice? Oh, no, not ice nine again. There wasn't a space between the L and the I. Were they trying to say... That Alice was all Alice was a single word. It was an it was an interesting thought, but if you may, may quickly you open the file, which which what lay inside was far more interesting and far more confusing. Holy freaking balls! Each page was covered with strange characters. Oh God, is this like Lord of the Lord of the Rings language or something? They're like tiny drawings of birds, snakes, insects, horned animals, wings. And even kneeling humans. There were many pages in the files, and they were full of these strange f symbols. What the hell is this? Didn't realize he'd spoken out loud until Ace looked over at him. They are hieroglyphics, a form of writing used in ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt? Whoa, where's that? It's it's in Egypt. 
but it was ancient. Good lord, are you that thick, Junpei? Shut up, man. Alright? I've done everything up till now. You've done jack shit. Except look awesome. That's true, I do look amazing. That's right. Can you read them? Of course. Are you freaking? <laughs> Who's supposed to be like, are you serious? Of course. Of course. I can't. What made you think I could? What the hell? <laughs> you may flip through more a few more pages. You're kind of a dick, aren't you, Ace? Yes, I've been called that many times before. Well, just one or two pages that were covered in a strange symbol. Every single page was covered in them. Trying to read them was pointless. Jupe was going to waste any more time with them. He made to close the file. Something fell out. He bent down and picked it up. Yes! A key card! It's the key card for a vagina! Yes! Oh, wait, no, wait, no. It's the key card for the penis! <laughs> this one that reminded Jinpei of uh, the symbols of the Saturn and Mercury card. This one, however, had a dot in the center of the, of the male symbol. That's Uranus. By which I mean your own anus. And also the planet. <laughs> Jinpei looked over to see if he uh, examined the card. In addition to the Uranus symbol, there were three words engraved on the card as well. On the lower right, it said Bottom Deck Library. Was the bottom deck the library? Oh? Uh, whatever might be there, however, would have to wait. At the moment, there was nothing Jupe could do. He gripped the key card tighter and shoved it into his, deep into his pocket. Go into my pants. Yes. And then we got unique key. What the hell is this? A key with a leather case. It isn't metal. My guess would be ceramic. Jupe, have you found a keyhole in that might fit? Have I? I think that was the only thing I. This is the only thing I found that was locked. It is. It. The control panel for the electronic lock looks like it's got a key hole on it. Maybe the key I got earlier. Huh? No, I did it. So we had to put the key in. Now it's on. Hey, look! There's a minus sign on the screen. There's eight of them. That probably means we gotta put in eight digits. Can you figure it out? Uh. No. How the hell am I? I don't even know what it is. Look for the vice. It's on. Once I put an eight-digit number, I just need to. Okay, yes. Mess up. I can press the clear button. All right, let's do this. I totally don't know what any of these numbers are. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Damn! I thought it was totally gonna work. What's the passcode? I'm pretty sure I searched every part of this room by now. Oh, it's it's zero. That's what it is. And hexadecimal, was that maybe? Alright, let's uh Alright, I think I might figure it out. Alright, um So if if I switch it to to hexadecimal here, so it'll be thirty Yes, I get it, dude. I know it's not that complicated. Alright. Three, five, one, four, two, seven, two, four. Yes! Ha ha ha! Brilliant! Yes! Worked! Good job, Jubi! Nah, look at Clover jumping around. Behold, you've done it! You've locked it! Good work, Jimpe. Alright, let's go. Let's get this shit out of here. You found the exit, way to go, you bastard. Alright. Stepped out of the cabin's quarters and into another hallway. The hallway stretched out in front of Junpei for a bit before turning left like a great backward L. Junpei ran the corner and took off down straight, down straight away. He ran. And ran. And ran. And at the end of the hallway was a door. He, straight, he made straight for it. Ugh! He sat with to it when he noticed a piece of paper in the middle of the floor. What was a piece of paper? What was a piece of paper doing in the middle of the, the hallway? Jupe skid to a halt. He dropped down to his hands and knees and quickly tore the paper out of the floor, off the floor. Oh, it's another map. Yes, add it to my collection. Now he had a chance to examine more closely. It was clear it was a map, more specifically a map of the ship's interior for the A deck. Ugh! Oh, you're fast, you little shit. What's wrong? A slightly slower by virtue of his advanced age, finally, and finally caught up to Junpei. Where did Clover go? Junpei has nothing, said nothing, simply showed Ace what he found. He looked at 
He looked at it long enough to determine what, what it was and nodded. I see. With that, he began running again, past Junpei. Uh, <laughs> whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Junpei shoved the map into his pocket and got up, got up to follow Ace, but something stopped him. Hey, where's Clover? He turned around. Clover was nowhere to be seen. Aw, oh, dude, where the hell is she, where the hell is she up to? Junpei muttered angrily under his breath and took off back the way he'd come. Ugh, Clover. So he stopped around the corner, he saw her. She was standing in front of the door to the cab's quarters, her hand on the doorknob. She may watch, she closed it gently and quietly. What the hell are you doing? Nothing. We mean nothing. Uh. Clover had unconsciously put her hands over the pockets of her jacket as if she was trying to hide something. Uh, what are you hiding? What'd you do? You mug that dude or something? Did you freaking steal his pants? I'm hiding his pants. What the hell is that? What? You got something in your pocket. What is it? Oh, this. Uh, this. This. This is. I wonder. What the hell? Come on, we gotta hurry. What the hell did she do? Oh god. That clever ran straight past Junpei, somewhat confused. Somewhat confused Junpei. As she did, I caught a glimpse of her back. Sticking up from her collar was something that looked like a big wooden stick. Oh, she got the fucking. Whoever, what the hell is that thing on your back? She stole the axe? She didn't respond. Then she quickly turned the corner and disappeared. Oh no, what is she gonna do? Oh no, is she gonna go on a murdering spree? Oh, god dang it. She did his best to convince himself that it was makes sense later on and ran after Clover. Can you not? I'm gonna go murder Ace real quick. Oh, okay, see you later. Jimmy pushed the door up, found himself in a large room with a large set of stairs. It was just what he expected to see after reading the map. His I see after reading the reading the map himself meant that Ace had probably realized the same thing. Jimmy looked around, but Ace was nowhere to be seen. He put his hand on the handrail and leaned over to look down. And there he was. Not just Ace, Santa, June 7, and Lotus as well. Jupe and Clover glanced at each other and hurried down the stairs. Why the hell does... Why the hell does Clover have an axe? Oh, God. Is she the one who's been killing everybody? But she was dead in the other scenario, too. So does she, like, murder herself? But no, but then... But then someone came up and fucking killed Jupe. So, ah. Uh, they reached B-Deck at the same time. Jupe, Clover! June's face was excited. Ah! <laughs> Something had happened that that much Junpei could, sim could tell simply by looking at her. What's up? Given that her situation, he was not inclined to be excited about sudden developments. June, how however, couldn't contain herself. We found it. Found what? We found it. What did you find? <laughs> the last door. We found door nine. What? What? A what? Come on, just follow us, you little shit. We'll explain on the way. Okay, let's go. Seven turned and jogged away off down the stairs. The rest followed. We finally made it. Relief and excitement in her voice echoed e what each one of them felt. Yeah, it's finally time. She wasn't quite ready to believe they'd really done it, at least not just yet. So if everyone had said that it was door nine, then it probably was. He feels his heart racing. A mixture of anticipation and fear ran through his veins, and he could feel his legs shaking. He was doing his best to maintain a sense of health healthy skepticism, but he couldn't deny that the prospect of escape was an exciting one. There was one thing he couldn't get off his mind. The number door could only accommodate between three and five people. There were seven of them, them on their way to, to door nine. That meant that even in the best case scenario, there'd be two of them would have to stay behind. Two people. He didn't have any solutions to that problem yet, but he was desperately hoping one would present itself. Jimmy looked over at the clock. The hand indicated that it was 4.30. They had 90 minutes before the time was up. And we all blew up into freaking bit <laughs> bite-sized pieces. Hey, Junpei, June, what the hell are you two doing? Let's just go, we're all gonna die. <laughs> Santa's voice jolted Junpei out of his reverie. Oh god, I gotta go. Let's go, Junpei. June took, took off down the stairs jogging as quickly as he could, as she could. Junpei followed. Yeah, whoa, he's sliding down the railing. Oh yeah, so fast. Oh god, oh. I should have known that was a bad idea. Oh no, I think I triggered the bomb in my stomach. No! <laughs> That'd be funny. He, he like trips and falls. And then he, he hears a beeping in his ch stomach. He's like, oh no, you've got to be fucking kid. Boo! <laughs> they were quiet for a while until... C-Deck! C-Deck! They just reached C-Deck when Clover spoke. Hey, what about door two? Everyone else stopped. They all turned to look at Clover. Seven spoke. What about door two? Fuck that door. Let's get the shit out of here. 
Part two is the only one we didn't, we didn't have gone through. I mean, I mean. Yes, that is true. Are you guys okay with that? Not a fish gaming. Dude, fuck door two, man. I got the worst ending when we went through that shit. Yeah, yeah, fuck it. So what? We found door nine. We don't need any of the other doors. What's the point? What's the point in going to door nine? We can't all go through it, can we? I wish you do what we have to do before we go any further. Oh boy. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. The best way to finish it quickly is to do the border pieces f first. You know? Or what? You think all seven of us should go into door nine? And then we argue over who stays behind and gets to go? You really want to do that again? You know, if we check out door two, maybe we'll find something. No, don't make me go to door two. I don't want to go to door two. Get oh, wait, get all of us out. I don't know what might be in there. We not find anything. But don't you think it's better to at least have it, give it a look? I mean, am I wrong? Does this sound wrong to you guys? Yes, you're wrong. Does anyone else notice that Clover has an axe in her back? <laughs> what is that protruding from your backside? <laughs> yeah, you do have a point. The, other, the other's not in agreement. Last time, last time I ch checked the clock, it was 4.30. It's like we got a lot of time, but if we were quick about it, we might have the time to take a look. Damn it, don't make me do freaking door two again. Fuck door two. Door two sucks. Let's go take a look at the door two. Dang it. I hate door two. They were back in front of the elevator. Nearby was a large hospital room that the elevator could take them down to door two. After a few minutes of discussion, they decided that Clover, Santa, June, and Seven would go. Oh, good. Okay. So, not me. Alright, let's get going. I'll see you later. Okay, be careful. Oh, no. I think I, th I, think I see my, what might be coming, though. Is Clover gonna go on a murder rampage and gonna kill like everybody else? Just gonna come out all bloody and psycho crazy, and then start eating Junpei. Be like, mm, you're so tasty. They climbed to the elevator and Junpei listened to his creak and rattled his way down to the bottom deck. Only Junpei, Ace, and Lotus were left. So, uh, what do you guys want to do? You guys want to play I Spy? I Spy with my little eye. Something that's ticking. Is it the bomb in our colon? Yes, you got it. Ugh. That was, that was morbid. That was morbid, Junpei. Whatever, man. You just, <laughs> you just don't understand my sense of humor. The elevator slowly rumbled out of sight. Ace spoke. Lotus, would you be so kind as to go with me? Go with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, Lotus is like, Oh, finally, yes! I've been waiting for you to take me! Take me right here, right now, I don't care! Let, let Junpei watch, I don't even give a shit! About that little bastard. Uh, what? <laughs> yes, I, I was about to say a thing. What? Well, what are you talking about? I don't think people still talked that way outside of the 1950s. Well, I'm a mother. Would that be a problem for you? Uh... <laughs> that wasn't what I, what I meant to. I was hoping you would come with me. <laughs> Seriously, though, I was, I was kidding. I was really, I was... Really, I was, I was joking! I was joking! Shut up! Damn it! Ah, my boobs are huge! Anyway, where, where is it you want to take me? There's something I wanted to show you. It's in my pants. Hey man, what the hell? I'm not important enough? Well, it's not like that. Once I show Lotus, I'll show you. Whoa, wait, I don't know if I want to see it. <laughs> it's, it's, it it's in your pants? <laughs> don't worry, you'll see it eventually. <laughs> it's far too large and magnificent. You will find, you will, it will, it will find you soon. Ugh, I, what are we talking about? <laughs> really? Of course. His smile was friendly. Fine, do whatever you want. Thank you. No way, I'm totally not gonna kill her. How are you coming, Lotus? Fine. Doesn't look like they're going to be back anytime soon. Might as well let's see where it is where it is it's so important. Thank you. Well then, shall we go? What I have here is a bag full of condoms, and we have about thirty minutes to kill, so what are we gonna do? Oh yes, let's do it. <laughs> Wow, this sure taking a long time up there. <laughs> I keep hearing a lot of grunting and a lot of <laughs> rolling around. They must have been having some crazy fight up there. Ace turned and walked again to with Lotus. But I, 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 they just fear down the hallway. And now Junpei is all by himself. Great. Junpei wasn't sure how long they'd been gone when the elevator suddenly opened up. Yay. 
Ah! Clover, you ki you fucking killed everybody, didn't you, you dirty whore? It's like a person stood there, Clover. She looked at Junpei and then slowly and purposely stepped out of the elevator. She was covered in blood. There was a big bloody axe, and she had a crazy psycho look on her face. Damn it. I don't get it. She wasn't the one that killed... Maybe she was the one that killed in the, killed Junpei in the first time, and then the second... No, but he got, he got stabbed with a knife the first time. Then who stabbed him this... And he got stabbed the second time, so maybe this is something not related to that. I don't know. Door, the door was behind her. Where's everybody else? What happened? She didn't answer. Instead, her eyes swept the room and then settled on Junpei. Where is Lotus? She big explained what happened. Oh, and they went over there? Her voice was small and timid. Yeah, I think so. He re repeated his earlier question. So where are June Sin at 7? Aren't they with you? You really want to know? There's something wrong with her smile. Yeah. Okay, sure. Here, let me show you. Pull something out of her pocket and tossed it onto the floor at Junpei's feet. He looked down. On the floor in front of him were three metal rings. Bracelets. Aw, oh, you are fucking cr- Oh my god. Oh, holy shit. Junpei collapsed. N no way. It's gotta be some kind of joke. This, this can't be real. Junpei's body felt like rubber. Damn, Clover, you turned to fucking crazy, didn't you? What the hell, Clover? His star felt like a cold lump in his chest, and his hands shook un uncontrollably. Sweat poured down his face. The three bracelets sat there on the floor before him. You can see the numbers on their faces. Three, seven, and... Six. Listen, let's discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from the ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or detects that this wearer's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. Dude, you should have stopped Clover, man! should have grabbed the axe out of her back and smacked her with the axe. Whoa! Oh, dude, that's kind of a freaky looking f look on Jupe's face. But! Why? Jupe's voice was flat and broken. Clover's response was cold. Revenge for my brother! He was forced into door three and murdered. Who did these three people to open the door? Who were the two that opened the door with him? It could only have been Santa and Seven. And that's why I killed them. It could only have been Santa and Seven. Three plus equals three. But why? Why did you kill June? She tried to protect them. She was in my way. She had to die too! Dude, you're like the freaking, uh, she's like the, uh, the Sachiko of this game. No! No! Jupe shook his head, trying desperately to wake himself from what had to be a dream. Couldn't be real, just couldn't be. Hey, Jupe! He felt Clover's hand on his shoulder. Her smile was wrong, horribly wrong. Her face looked like a mat, like a mask made from a stretched human skin. The smile that parted her lips did not extend her eyes. They were dead and empty. The girl in front of him was no longer the clover he had known. Perhaps she was not even human. Let's go! Her, her hand reached out toward him. Let's get out of here. Let's just leave. Let's leave this ship. What the hell are you talking about? To open an open a number door. Yes, I know. Only at least three people. As long as we have this. Again, Clover reached into her pocket and pulled something out. It was another bracelet. Jupe could see the number on the face. Zero. Oh, she cut his hand off or something? What? Pulled off? Something in your pocket? What is it? Oh, this. Oh, this. Uh, uh, the, the, the. See? You get it now? If we have the zero bracelet, we can leave. You and. You and I can open door now with just the two of us. Four plus five plus zero equals nine. See? Let's go! So let's go! Let's go! Come on! Hurry up! She shoved her hand out her hand again. She really looked at looking up at Clover. She had the face of a demon. But there was something else. There was something there was, there was a holy light that surrounded her surrounded her. 
She was both a fierce god and a benevolent goddess filled with love. Junpei? Her voice was soft. Her eyes weren't empty anymore. They were deep. So deep, Junpei felt like he could, see, could feel himself falling into them. He felt dizzy. There was something oddly bewitching about her. His mind was beginning to crack and he, his heart began to melt. Junpei? The hand she was offering him. It looked so soft, so inviting. Dude, just... She's like half your height. Just pick her up and throw her down a flight of stairs. I got an idea. How about this? <laughs> Go to hell, demon lord. Ah! <laughs> Falls down the flight of stairs. Yeah! Ugh. Maybe you should look at the axe she's probably holding behind her back right now. Reached out with his own trembling hand and closed it to her over hers. Fuck me, I knew it. She be writhed in agony. He shuddered and twitched, his body spathoming as he went to shock. He screamed until his throat was torn and bloody in the scream more. He cried echoes across the room. Eventually, his movement slowed and then faded. There was no more strength left in Junpei. He could feel his body begin to go numb. He no longer felt pain. Fuck you, Clover, you fucking psycho. But it wasn't her that killed him in the other ones, was it? Right? Or maybe maybe it was. I don't know. I Fuck me. I... But everybody was dead. I don't understand. He no longer felt anything. Whatever Junpei was and Ben was gone. Last remembrance of his mind and began to fade. God dang it. You stupid idiot, Junpei. You should have... She is. She's half your size. You just fucking take the axe from her and smack her in the face with it. He made his vision fade to nothingness. He saw Clover. See ya. Thanks, Junpei. I'm gonna go murder other people. I'm just gonna borrow this, okay? Her smile was... What the fuck it happened to you, huh? Good lord. You're fucked up, you know that? Look at her walking over there with her axe. What's up with her shoe? Like, she's wearing pink high heels? A bunch of Junpei's conscious mind drifted away. But with his last remaining strength, he managed to... <laughs> flip off <laughs> Clover. Fuck you, Clover! Oh, I'll see you in hell, you dirty slut. I was left with twisted, broken corpse. Uh, bad end. You're dead. I like how I don't get the credit for this one, but I did get the credit for the one where everybody dies. Cause that's just so much better. God dang it! I can't wait till I get an actual good ending in this game. Cause I'm really tired of seeing all these fucked up ones. Way to go, dumbass! You fucked up. You're everybody's dead now. Yay! I got an axe ending. Yay! Okay. All right, well, uh, okay, now I'm going to start reading the guide. The, from what I've, uh, what I've heard is, uh, is that I, don't, I know that at least one of the endings, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten it yet, uh, was like a pointless ending, because it's like, it's like the true ending, but you didn't quite, uh, uh, it's like the true ending, but you just it cuts off before you can see it because you didn't get the one bad ending you need to see it so that's it's like a pointless ending so the other two i mean it's a true ending and then i guess assuming i haven't gotten the one that i need to get i don't know maybe i had to maybe the one i had to get was the one with the credits i don't know there's at least one more bad ending and then the true ending so uh anyway i'll, I'll check a guide uh, and I'll get those other endings. Uh, remember, uh, so I guess the other, the other ending is pointless, so it's pretty, pretty much just two endings left. Um, finally, I get some answers. I'm so tired of this bullshit. I'm tired of fucking cl Clover, you psycho, you dirty slut. God dang it, I freaking hate you. It's gonna be your best friend, Clover. You just had to stab me in the freaking face with the axe. And leave me to die. God dang it. I, that is fucking dark, though. Like, I mean... Like, we really don't know much about Clover and Snake. Like, something's up with them. Like, I don't know. The, the fact that she'd be, like, okay with just doing that, like, uh, you know, just totally murdering. Like, mur she murdered Junpei. I mean, I mean, I can get her murdering Lotus because Lotus was kind of a slut. I mean, let's just be honest. But June, come on. It's like, it's like killing a baby lamb or something. All right, well. Go ahead and save for next time, guys. Um, I guess since I've already really done all the rooms, uh, I'll probably 
maybe the next time it'll probably be more me skipping to through the rooms. I, I'll tell you what doors they went through, and then I'll skip to whatever the ending or conclusion was. Um, assuming I, I don't know, I don't know if there are any other doors I haven't already been through. But anyway, like for if you enjoyed this video, subscribe now, and hop board the SLP. Where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Until next time, guys, stay alive. Don't be axed. Alright? Don't want to miss this ending. Don't get axed. Don't do it!